I'm not one of those people who says if Muhammad Sallallahu was here, he would be here, right? That's really, really dangerous to do. And, and I'll caution you, even if you're really passionate about something, to make such a definitive statement and to, to say if the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi was here, he would be doing this. Now, there are constants that we can say, if the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi was here, he'd definitely care about the homeless, right? If the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi were here, he'd definitely care about uh, victims of dhulm, whether that's in the form of brutality, racial br brutality, state, of, state violence, or whatever it may be. We know he would care, right? We know that he would, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, take interest in those things because those were consistent ideas that he had, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, or values that, and qualities that he manifested, Alayhi Salatu Wasallam. But to say, for example, you know, uh, as a means of, of rubber stamping, and some people do it innocently, by the way, I'm not taking shots at anyone. I'm just, it's, it's, it's caution for myself more than anyone else. Uh, you know, because we feel very passionate about something and very certain that the Prophet ﷺ would, or his sunnah speaks to this particular action, and like if the Prophet ﷺ were here, he would do this, right? So we, we can't go that far in terms of being definitive, but we do know, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ We have not sent you, O Muhammad ﷺ, except as a mercy to the worlds. We do know that the Prophet ﷺ said, إِبْغُونِي فِي الضُعَفَاء Find me amongst the downtrodden, and of course, du'afa is a very expansive term in the Arabic language. It doesn't just refer to people that are downtrodden because of their wealth. It could be because of some sort of class status. It could be because of uh, a racial uh, uh, a schism that exists in society. It could be because of uh, slavery. It could be because of oppression. It could be for many reasons. But du'afa are people that don't have an equitable opportunity in society. And the Prophet said, Ibruni fi du'afa, find me amongst them. Hal turzaquna. وَتُنْصَرُونَ إِلَّا بِضُعَفَائِكُمْ Are you given victory or support from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala except by the way that you treat your most downtrodden? So what would that look like today, right? What would the Prophet ﷺ sunnah look like today? Instead of saying that, you know, when we talk about modern day activism and movements and social movements, what's wrong with them? Well, what, what's missing? What's the void, right? That we have a unique responsibility to fill using the comprehensive sunnah of the Prophet 